from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Lauren St. Germain. Dennis Phillips has your forecast in just a moment, but first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. It's been a long process, but after months of hope, a mother has her little boy back home. The Tampa mom claims her son Dexter was taken by his father to Lebanon without her permission. Dexter was gone for almost a year. Dexter's father is now in FBI custody. Tampa police are looking into the circumstances surrounding a crash involving an e-scooter yesterday afternoon. Police say John Edgerton was on the scooter and veered into the tanker truck's path. This all happened near Port Tampa on North 20th Street. Police say this is the first serious crash involving an e-scooter since they came to Tampa. Edgerton is still in critical condition. One local hospital group is making major upgrades to security. BayCare Health Systems will put metal detectors in most of their hospitals across the state. The company runs 15 different hospitals in the Bay Area, including St. Joe's in Tampa and St. Anthony's in St. Pete. All visitors will have to go through metal detectors and give identification before entering the building. And tomorrow is the annual Pride Parade in St. Pete. More than 200,000 people will be in downtown St. Pete. Police are prepared with 50 cameras along the route to keep everyone safe. The parade starts tomorrow at Two, the Pride Festival will happen Sunday afternoon. Now here's Dennis with your forecast. Hey, don't everybody. I'll tell you what the numbers that we're looking at this weekend feels like temperatures will be up around 105 to 110. Rain chances down near zero, so that's a combination that can get a little dangerous, especially as strong as our sun is this time of the year. Afternoon highs in the mid 90s feels like temperatures close to 110. Rain chances near zero both Saturday and Sunday. Lauren. All right, thanks, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app.